All right, so in this episode, we are hopefully going to finish the chuck. That's the hope at least. First thing we gotta do is print the piece, which I've already done beforehand. And we also gotta install air vents, which I've done there, so the air can escape when the aluminum goes in. These air vents here are a little different than what I did last time. I'm putting in more air vents along the top here, so that the spots where it had air bubbles, hopefully won't have air bubbles. And this is basically the mix here. Sand and plaster, because that worked really well. And here's this. So this piece has gotta go in here. Take plaster. Pretty cool. Well, the piece is completely dry, so now we gotta burn it out. Alright, so this pour, nothing went wrong with it, at least from the outside. We'll see what it looks like in the inside. We'll see, let's open it up. Ooh. Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. Well, look at that. I think that's gonna work. Beautiful. That's the best part I think I've poured so far. There are little indents like that right there, but that's fine, no big deal. Wow. I don't know, these must all be air bubbles that got trapped underneath the mold, but that doesn't matter, I can grind those off. The difference that I did with this part is that instead of pouring the mold uh, like this, I poured it like this. All right, is that the last pour of the chuck? Who knows, it depends on how I put this thing together. If I mess up putting this thing together, I'll have to pour it again, so hopefully I won't mess up. I have all the pieces, the last piece finally casted. Oh my gosh, took forever to cast this last piece. Anyway, that goes on with this stack of pieces, so now all that's really left is cleaning up the parts and putting them all together. Yeah. I got all of the pieces cleaned up. So now the next task is to take it and drill into the main casing. Not only do I have to drill the holes, but I gotta thread them. It's all come down to this. Drilling holes and not messing up. Let's go. Work 
we're coming right down to the wire. We got all these parts all done. Uh, drilled a hole for each one of the pinions, uh, just like that, so that the pin can hold the pinion in. All these are tapped so that this piece can be held on, just like that. Basically the same assembly that's with the plastic piece other than it's aluminum and there's a few other holes. But this, there's only one other thing I have to do and that is fit it to the lathe. Dun dun dun! Bam, bam. So that's gonna hold it on there when it goes on the back. ready to go as is, uh, but there's only one thing that I think I need to do to it. That is give it a polish. Uh, so, uh, polish it up, just like, ah, the power of editing. Boom, dog, a bang all polished up. Now let's go put it on the lathe. Looking good, everything's looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and give it a rotation. There we go, look at that. There's a little bit of a, a it kind of jams every now and then. So otherwise than that, um, there is a serious wobble to it. <laughs> I can see it from here, but um, that's mostly because this back here, I didn't drill it out, I casted it. Plus, it didn't really turn out too well, the back of it didn't. Uh, so it was just something that I want to recast. And that will definitely straighten it out. Um, but otherwise than that, it all works. Do I dare say I finished this project? Oh my gosh, it is months and months and months in the making and I finally completed it. I am extremely happy to bring this video to you because it means completion and completion is awesome. If you can complete something in your life, go complete it because you will never feel the same afterwards. You'll just want to complete, complete, complete. Um, oh, so awesome. Spent so much time on this project and it's finally finished. I would spin it up, but our current lathe right here needs a motor rebuild, so it's not currently spinning. I mean, we can imagine it. <laughs>